Hey, how are you doing? Feeling quite positive at the moment. It just seems like uh, all the negativity that I was feeling, uh, especially around Christmas and January, and that sort of desperation, it's been replaced with something else now. Uh, and I really like, I really love like uh, making connections with people who uh, who are awake, so to speak. I know that sounds real pretentious, uh, but as in awake to the to the scam of what is going on. Uh, I just uh, I feel like a real connection with those people, and uh, it re really is like. The people who are not awake are in a different reality. You know, that uh, doesn't mean they're worse people or anything. But obviously, you're going to connect connect with people who who are on your wavelength because when you have a conversation with people who are who who believe, who think the you know think the world works one way, the conversation is completely different because. It's, uh, you know, it's like some people still think that after a year and a half uh, that everything that's going on is to try and stop people from getting a virus. Uh, and and there's actually, I've seen, like, noticed some people who, that are like saying, what, what's the point of people having going to a protest? The lockdown's going to be over soon. <sighs> people are always saying that. They're saying it'll be over soon. Don't worry. Well, doesn't science doesn't there isn't any sign of it slowing down, and I don't know if you've noticed, but the whole time they've been nudging us, which they've been they've been like saying it's gonna you know three weeks to flatten the curve. Then in the summer it was just wear the mask just for the summer, don't be selfish. Then it was, yeah, we'll probably go back to normal, and then in the, in the October now we're locking down again, just after they did the eat out to help out to get everyone eating. They were like, oh no no no, come in now. Fuck the economy, get everyone back in. Then they were like, look, if we really, if we really, like, just try and adhere to the rules now for a few moments, you'll get Christmas. And I remember, I remember them saying that, like, the, on the, on the, on the news, and it's just stuff like, just, let's think about personal responsibility. And everyone did a really good job, in their heads anyway, of doing that, because they, they people, uh, people totally did, uh, all that social distancing and they kept to the rules and then they then they didn't and at Christmas they were like at the very last minute they were like actually don't spend Christmas Day with your family and it was just horrible uh, what they're doing because it's gone it's gone past it, they're, they're they're taking the piss they're treating us like uh, like cattle and and they and you know they're they're doing it deliberately. That those those dark psychologists at Sage, they know what they're doing. They know that you know, all these techniques like gaslighting, they're just like narcissists. Uh, like you know, like an abusive relationship, but doing it to a whole populations, and they've got us. They've got some people completely fooled, but uh, I feel like people are waking up now. Um, certainly, I I re actually I, I didn't get to go to the protest on Saturday, and uh, I don't regret it. Because it, it was my fault for not booking the time off work, but I, I, won't, I won't. Like from now on, I'll be. I don't want to miss any more, because it, even just watching the footage on YouTube of it just gave me. Just I just felt it just made me feel amazing. Just look at all those people, and each one of them has been on a journey this past six uh, sorry year, because it, you you know this it, once you've woken up that you, it's like you've been you've been through some kind of a personal transformation if you have. And uh, it, more, it seems like more people are waking up every day, so it's got to be a good thing. <laughs>